talking a little bit about our strategy for marketing cloud. When you listen to some of our competitors, it seems like their vision for marketing space is really more about just sending more emails. When we have a very expensive view of where marketing cloud needs to go. First, with omni-channel journey orchestration, we are ensuring the conversations you have with your customers, whether they are consumers or businesses, are seamless and connected across every channel. Adobe Experience Manager continues to dominate the content management market. And with the release of AEM 6.5 this week, we are delivering a host of new capabilities and features that takes your content personalization and content velocity efforts to the next level. On the B2B front, as you saw this morning, through a new wave of exciting partnerships like LinkedIn and integrations between Mercado, Analytics, Target, and AEM, we are bringing account-based experience planning, engagement, and measurement to an entirely different level. And like we are doing with every other cloud, we are deeply infusing Sensei throughout the marketing cloud. This includes new capabilities like smart layout or smart tags in AEM, predictive fatigue or predictive send time in campaign, or enhanced recommendations in target. And there are many, many more that you will see throughout this week. So talking about AI, let's focus on Sensei. Last year on this stage, we talked about how we are orchestrating and architecting the Sensei platform at three distinct levels. Sensei-powered experiences for end users within our applications. Sensei services for developers. Think of these as the intelligence building blocks, the algorithms and the models that we are building that power these Sensei experiences. And underpinning all of that is the Sensei framework and tools layer that serves as the foundation of these services and experiences. So take a look at all the Sensei-powered capabilities that the teams have been delivering over the last few months. It's just unbelievable. We have hundreds of researchers and data scientists that are laser focused on training and evolving Sensei to master the AI domains of creativity, content, and experience intelligence. This deep specialization combined with the massive amounts of content and data sets that we have in Experience Cloud gives us a unique structural advantage with Sensei. And this is going to power a lot of our innovations for years to come. Now, as a company, Adobe has always been unique in building deep technologies in service of delivering breakthrough experiences. Today, hopefully, you have seen already some really amazing demos and new features we are launching in our products. But at our core, we always like to look around the corner. And our teams love to push the limits of what's possible. So with that in mind, we are investing deeply in future of interactions with areas like voice, immersive media. And when you combine those new modalities with some AI-powered magic, you truly create groundbreaking consumer experiences and reset their expectation for the future. So this wouldn't be a summit keynote if we didn't give you a glimpse of what that future holds. So what I would like to do now is show you how advances in new interaction models, AI, and how digital and physical worlds are going to come together to radically change how we all shop in a retail experience in near future. And to do that, please welcome Adobe fellow David Nuschler to the stage. David. Thank you. This, this is going to be fun. I'm going to give you a tiny glimpse into our labs. And we have hundreds of researchers and PhDs dreaming up our future. But very often, we also work directly with our customers. Um, for this instance, I would like to thank Foot Locker for their partnership and letting us use their assets and their brand. In this demo, I'm playing the role of somebody who creates a new uh, experience. And I'm quickly going to my empty folder here in Experience Manager. And I'm looking for some assets. So I'm looking for some assets right here. I find the assets all very nice, very smooth. But wouldn't it be cooler if I could just talk to the system instead? Check this out. Help me refine my search. And you see the voice command was understood, and Sensei offers a couple of ways of, for me to explore that. And I can continue that in a contextualized way. I can have a conversation as if it was with an intelligent person. More vibrance. 
And you can see Sensei understood that, brings up something that's more vibrant, but I want it a little bit more vibrant, so more vibrance. And you see that the assets that show up are not just flat static assets, but they're really 3D assets that are cloud, uh, cloud aware. So I can quickly open this up to show you a little bit of the detail and the fidelity of this. And you can see that I can zoom in and I can look at the shoe in any way or shape I want to. Isn't that awesome? So I can quickly, quickly pick these three assets right here and as soon as I select them, I see on the left hand side Sensei suggesting a couple of actions that I can do. I can copy those, for example, directly into the folder that I was in. And obviously Sensei also learns that this is an action I want to do in the future. And now I want to get out of the product into brand imagery right here. So I'll quickly pick that. I like this, uh, this uh, one and this one. And you can see I can just double click it um, and, and Sensei will copy that directly into my folder. So maybe I'll add one more thing, add people. And you can see that Sensei understood that command and now finds assets that have people on it. So I'll quickly add this one uh, to the mix and in a completely novel way that was never there before, I was able to select my assets very quickly as if it was an intelligent uh, agent that I'm working with. So now I'll select a couple of these and I can connect that directly to my, to my product. So I don't have to go uh, through a, a complicated workflow. I can just quickly attach that to my experience manager page right here and I see that the assets are right here. But let's not stop there and let's take this directly into Commerce Cloud and from here you see the exact same assets and that's what we mean by a fully integrated workflow. So let me quickly go back to my selection and let's take this into the physical world. So I'll take my asset over here again and now I said I want to send that to our augmented reality uh, authoring application. So I'll send this to Aero. And I'll walk over to the physical store that has materialized over here on the stage. And you can see that the assets that I just sent are appearing right here. And now check this out. I can just take this asset and place it right on here, zoom it in, make it smaller. And you see that it, the rendering is perfect. It almost feels like the shoe is physically there. But let's try to do something that we can't do with a physical shoe. Let's put some behavior on top of it. So I can quickly select the shoe and say I want to add a behavior. If somebody touches it, I want it, I want it to perform some magic. So I'll quickly set this to explode and I go to the preview of this experience. So I'll click on it and see what happens right here. So this shoe completely disassembled right here and I like the experience so I'm going to publish this into the store for consumers to view. So I'll walk over here and um, I'll grab my phone. And you see my phone is, uh, is, is strapped right here into something that's a gimbal. So this is really just so you don't get seasick when I'm holding this. So you don't need this to, to get the experience. What you see here is that we have the Foot Locker app right here. We can, we can scroll around in this. But at the same time, we also can get into our real-time uh, real customer profile right here. And I can bring up a whole set of information about my purchase history right here. And I see that Sensei also predicted a couple of, um, a couple of attributes about me. So let's go back and really get into the, into the augmented reality experience. Before I do that, I want to let you into a little secret. People who do augmented reality demos on big stages always like kind of an empty space, a space where we can place things, like a pedestal, for example. So nobody ever interacts with like a busy backdrop with actual physical objects. And there is a reason for that. It is extremely hard and it might just not work. So I, I've given you a heads up. So let's see, this is as exciting for me as it is for you to see if we get this to work. Let's see if we get it to work. We got it. So you see that now I can do hopefully bring up this shoe right from here, pick it from here, and flip it around and play with it. Now let's quickly see if I can, if I can uh, bring in my experience, uh, my experience cloud profile information. So I see what I, what I have uh, bookmarked online and bring together the physical and the digital experience like that. Now that's great and amazing and we bring things together, but at the same time if there is a question for me as a consumer, would I pull my phone out just to do this? And, le and, and, and really, I, I don't know, but there's something that in my shoe shopping experience is really something I would pull my phone out for, 
And that is, I'll tell you how that usually goes when I go and, and, and buy sneakers. It's, I go in, I say, I would like this one in a size 11. Then somebody says, uh, let me go check in the back. And then they come back, maybe, and they say, no. And really, avoid, to avoid that entire round trip, we introduce um, what we call inventory mode, which really brings together um, the, the real-time inventory, and you get to see immediately which shoe is in stock in which size as an overlay on top, of, uh, on top of the shoes that you're looking at at the store. So this is amazing, and I have one more thing. Wouldn't it be even better if I could get to a place where I could only see the shoes that are in stock and only the shoes that I am interested in? So let me quickly go over here. Just pan over here briefly and say, give me my completely personalized shelf. And see what happens? The personalized shelf comes right out of the ground of the stage, and I can again just play with the sizes and see which sizes are available in the shoes that I really like. So, so we are so excited to continue the journey to create this kind of magic with our customers. Together, we can seamlessly connect digital and physical experiences powered by the Adobe Experience Cloud and Adobe Sensei. Thank you. Thanks, David. Really cool demo. I'm actually looking forward to getting my Sensei-powered sneakers soon. Actually, jokes aside, this future is a lot closer than a lot of you may think. A lot of the ingredient technologies are already there. It's a matter of how we bring all of this together in a way that consumers actually expect and will be delighted. So throughout this morning, I hope you have gotten a sense of the breadth and depth of Adobe's commitment to be at the forefront of customer experience management. As we close, I want to take a quick moment to thank the thousands of engineers and product team members who do amazing work every single day and for the passion they have to make each one of you successful in your businesses. Summit is always a big, big week for us as we ship hundreds of new features, new products, new services. But far more importantly, it's a chance for us to actually engage deeply and in a meaningful way with all of you here this week. With best-in-class solutions, a first-of-its-kind experience platform, and AI breakthroughs powered by Sensei, we have an absolutely exciting vision for the future of the enterprise. And we can't wait to see the kind of amazing experiences you create on this journey with us.